Hi everyone, welcome back. Um, so you can see I have my Sailor Blue Anna. And for the month of April, I think I'm gonna move into this binder. I was gonna move everything and see how I felt and then maybe film a flip through later, but I thought you guys seem to enjoy seeing the actual switching. I know I love those videos, so I thought, you know what, let me film it. Let's see how everything looks. I may not continue. I may just move right back into the pink. <laughs> but I, I owe it to myself to try it. This binder is so pretty. And it was just sitting on the shelf looking so lonely. And the Sterling Ink um, subscription for the month of April is this beautiful, like, look at that pattern. I don't have my April kit yet, but because I am um, um, on her uh, email list, I get the freebies every month, so I printed the sticky note. So she, she gives you a sticky note template, so you just put your sticky notes on the template and then print out, print on your sticky notes with these beautiful um, patterns. Isn't this gorgeous? So this these sticky notes were already grid. These ones were not, but I chose the grid. So it's not perfect, like it missed a couple lines, but whatever, I don't care. Oh, so anyways, these soft colors and these like blues and it's just, I don't know. I was just like, it's just screaming sailor blue to me. I mean, it looks good with the pink too. Like really good with the pink. Everything looks good with pink. But I don't use this one very often. I'm in my pink so much through the year. So I thought, let's give this one a try. I did a poll on Instagram and I had a, a couple of people say, April is like April showers bring May flowers. So it's kind of appropriate, right, to use blue and then go back into my pink for May. So let's give this a try. I've already been playing around with some dashboards. Uh, I have my Jane's Agenda. Like, look at this cover. It's just stunning. And this, these are from Jane's Agenda. So I thought, yeah, let's let's use that. It just looks so nice with the with the blue. Um, so I figured that will be my cover. And then I made these. I did film. I think yeah, I think I did do one video where I did one of these um, dividers um, with you guys. So I'm gonna use these for the month of April, and I just love this how this pops against the blue. Um, yeah, and so I grabbed some other things like this vellum. This is from Pen, Paper, and Plans. It was half letter size, and I trimmed it down to personal wide since I'm not in my half letter anymore. Um, oh, I just love that. I don't use this often, so I'm like, let's get this into circulation. It's so pretty. And then I grabbed this from, where's this from? This is like a jelly. It has pockets. Um... I'll, I'll think of it. I'll put it on the bottom of the screen. <clears throat> but um, I rarely use this because it's, you know, it's quite thick and my binders are usually stuffed full, but I'm going to try and make this work. And I just printed out some of my favorite um, pictures. This is the moonrise over the Atlantic Ocean when I was in Nova Scotia a couple years ago. So I'm not sure if you if I've shared with you guys, but I am from Nova Scotia. My family is there. So I was there visiting my dad, my sister, some family, and um, we went to this beautiful beach. And oh, and I didn't even know it was a full moon. And it was so magical. So we stayed and watched the moon rise. So I got a couple good pictures. So, anyways, so I have that there. This is a rainbow at my cottage. It was a full rainbow. This was last April. Couldn't believe our luck. It lasted about 15 minutes just magic magic and then this is um, my feet in the sand my favorite place to be is at the beach and then I love this quote here life is better when you decide setbacks don't define you they refine you and I um, I saw it on Instagram and so I did a screenshot and then I printed it in my Canon selfie printer and I love that and then yeah so and then just throughout I have some vellum some sterling ink vellums this is from last spring i forget what the month maybe june may or june um, but with the blue in it i thought that was perfect and then this one here with the blue this is from a couple years ago 
so stunning. Yeah, so that's kind of it. I have my April inserts in here and I have my habit tracker ready to go for um, April. <clears throat> I made a new um, pocket with some sterling ink stickers and other like tapes from various shops. And um, yeah, so I made that because it kind of, it matches my dashboards better than this pink one that I've been using all throughout March, right? So that's where I'm at here. And then these are my, um, this is for when I'm writing because I use my fountain pen. So I just put this in between pages while it's dry, drying. So if I can't leave my binder open, like I'm write something and then I quickly have to go, then I can just close my binder right away and take it with me and not worry about the ink transferring onto the next page. So I have a couple, of, I made this one and then I made a smaller one with this crown. Um, so then that will stick up. I oh, just love that. Uh, these are stickers that I got from Michaels years ago, years and years and years ago that I just never used. So I thought I would use that on there. Okay, so that's what I have so far. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna remove these rings. So this is the Sailor Blue Anna Binder by Franklin Covey. It's a Franklin Covey compact size binder, although the company is called Franklin Planner. So you can go to franklinplanner.com. They do have some newer Annas. It's like a darker pink um, if you're interested. <clears throat> but um, anyhow, so these are one inch rings, which are definitely too small for me. So I'm going to remove the one and a quarter inch rings from this binder, and I'm going to put them in here. Um, by the way, both, like any color of Anna binder that you get in the Franklin Covey compact size are one inch rings. If you get the uh, classic size, which is half letter, um, those binders are one and a quarter inch rings, just so you know, and they're silver. Okay, so I'm borrowing my um, one and a quarter inch rings from my vintage Aurora by Franklin Covey um, because they have the gold rings and they have the bigger rings. You can call the customer support for Franklin Planner and you can order them separately. I think they're about $20. I just never have because I just, I don't mind switching them back and forth. Maybe one day I will. Um, <clears throat> so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take everything out and then I'm going to um, transfer the rings. Okay, so, and then we'll start moving things over. Just so you know, if you're ever gonna change your rings, you need a hex key. And the two millimeter one is what works in these Franklin Covey Compact um, rings. Okay. This is a tool that I stole out of my husband's toolbox in the garage. Luckily he has another one, so he hasn't missed it, but that's why it's a little bit dirty. I haven't cleaned it. There, nice and snug. Notice how they are silver screws, which I'm not gonna notice because all of my paper will be in there. Um, I did not remove the gold screws that were in my vintage Aurora. I kept them in there. I have heard through other people that you wanna use the same screws for the binder because they already fit the holes so perfectly. I haven't tried other screws, so I don't know if that's 100% true, but I've been doing that ever since I heard that. So just a little tip there for you. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these in here, the one inch rings back in here so that, I don't know, I just don't like to have my binder closed with no rings in them. So this way it holds its shape and then I can use the binder for storage if needed. I do have my Franklin Covey compact storage binders, but they are full. So I do need to order another one. I just, I don't want to place an order for one thing because, you know, shipping, paying for shipping. 
but um, this will just do for now. I don't store a whole lot in. Um, I don't store a whole lot in my binders. Like I have a couple binders that I have some stuff in, but they're not completely full. All right. What do we think of the gold with the blue? I just love gold so much that I don't know. I'm going for. I do love the silver with blue. Silver and blue look so nice together. But I don't have a one and a quarter inch silver rings. Maybe I'll order those when I order a storage binder. Okay, so I'm going to use these as my cover. Oh, so pretty. So my goals tab. And then I'm going to grab what I have so far for goals. Of course, I need to have some pretty stuff there as well. Now, my goals section is pretty full. So, I still have more to add. I didn't move everything over. Um, so, let's see here. See, I still have. Take that out. I've got my quarterly goal planning inserts. Okay, so now, CEO section. I've got my KPIs, definitely need that. Do I want that there? So within my CEO section, I have subsections. So I have meetings. I think I'll put this here. And then kind of to separate my meeting notes. Okay, hang on. Yeah, meetings, meetings. Okay, good. And then my next will be social media. Still love this. Okay, this is what I have so far. And oh my gosh, I love it. Uh, as far as the window, because I don't have my subscription kit yet for April, I'm imagining the business card is going to look similar to these as far as having the butterflies um, and whatnot. So that's gonna look really nice there. So I mean, I guess. I'll put this this is an old Kate Spade card that I got with one of my purchases I just flip it over and I like the pale pink instead of it being all black um, in the window so I'd like to put that down there and then to put the business card over top I'm wondering if I have an old you know what I probably do I have an old one that I can put in here for now This is my all-time favorite. I just love roses. Oh, so beautiful. 
let's see what I have. I think one of these would look good. This matches one of the dashboards that I have. That one looks nice too, but I don't think I have this as a dashboard. Let's see. See, this is the one that matches this. So that's nice. I guess there's just not enough blue in it. Let's see. This is more spring. So, let's see. So what I'm looking for in here now is the matching vellum, which I know I have one. I saw it when I was going through everything last night and now I can't remember where I saw it, but it must be in here. There it is. So I just glued a piece of lace onto this acetate and then I use this as deco. I just love the softness that it adds to my binder and femininity. I just, oh, so pretty. Oh, it just helps everything pop. I only have one business card left. I'm gonna have to restock. I keep business cards in here because then I bring my binder with me everywhere. And so, oh, do I have some in here? Oh, nice, I already have some. Perfect. Um, yeah, so when I'm going to show houses, because sometimes that happens last minute, um, then, because we always leave a card on the counter when we show a house. So then I've got my cards handy. And then back here, I'm going to put sticky notes. Like, look at how pretty these are. They match the binder so beautifully. Oh, that's Ryan doing work in the backyard. My apologies, I'm gonna close the window. Give me just a sec. We're getting our house ready for market. We're selling our house. I haven't really announced it. I mean, I've told family and friends, but that's about it. Um, yeah, because we're real estate agents and it's kind of like, do we want everyone to know that we're selling our house? I don't know. It's, um, you know, we bought our house, we built our house new 19 years ago. And so it's uh, bittersweet. It's our first, and it was our first home too, but it is time for us to move on and, um, yeah, we're very excited, but very nervous about all the people that are going to be walking through our house. So anyways, he's just, um, we stained our deck two years ago and it's a beautiful cedar deck and it all like peeled from all the, the weather and the snow and everything. So Ryan is sanding and we're just bringing it back down to new, just the cedar and no staining because we want it to look really nice for when we put our house on the market. Okay, of course I have to have my charm here. So this is Kate Spade. I get asked a lot about where I got this and it came from, you know those spiral Kate Spade planners? Um, it, it came from that and I just, I took it off. Like I basically disassembled that planner, took this off so that I could have it in my binders and I just put it around the rings and it's just cute. Pretty much have to have that on all my planners and then okay there we go and then i of 
course have to have my Capricorn charm. And then I also have this little charm here that I bought off of um, just Michael's, just little cute little charms. I don't have anything that's like blue, but I'll leave that there for now. Okay, shall we do a flip? All right, how can we, can we close it? Yes, we can close it. That's the main thing. Can it close? If it can't close, then I have to take some stuff out. Oh, you know what? I don't have my pen in there yet. And this is why I don't usually use these. These yelly, yell, yelly, <laughs> jelly, um, like pocket dashboards because they are quite thick. Ah, I really want to have it in here though. So I'm going to be using um, my new Ellington Pens fountain pen, which I just posted uh, an unboxing and a review of this pen. It's a medium nib. Oh, so pretty. And look at how pretty the white looks with everything. It just all comes together. So now the question is, is can I close it with the pen? Oh, it's tight. Nope, I can't. So that means that that jelly dashboard is gonna have to come out. Darn it. I love it so much. And when I travel, like I take, like I said, I take my planner with me everywhere. I like to have it closed while I'm out and about. So let's see. Yep, it's the jelly dashboard. Oh, that's too bad. Okay, so I wanted to show you that I was able to keep my jelly dashboard in here. What I did was I removed, I had several of these, which I don't use a lot. So I just um, downsized it to one. And then I took out about that much worth of note paper because I really don't use enough that I needed to have that much in there. And these are the Franklin Planner Graph and they're very, very thin. So I was able to keep those in there, but the other paper, which is Happy Planner paper, it's quite thick. I took them out as well as anything extra and then that made room. So it was probably like that much worth of paper. So I was able to have this in here and I'm so excited. So um, instead of having it at the front, I have it at the back and it seems to make a difference. So just wanted to share that. Okay, let's do a quick flip. So this is all the same as I just noticed there's like a watermark on there. Can you, do you see that? Right there? I've never noticed that before. Huh. Anyways. Yeah, this is all the same. Got my reading list. This cute etched bookmark. This is from Crafty Brina. That really pops against the blue too. It looks so good. And then important goals. These are my goals for the year. Um, these cards here are from cloth and paper. I've had them for years. I don't think cloth and paper sells them anymore, but they're these. And they're just a card stock. I really like them. Okay, here we go. This looks so lovely. My goals tab. And on all of my tab dividers, I put a quote, hold tight and pretend it's a plan. glow up here, my vision board. And I just, you know, I've been adding like things just make me happy. Like a moments, you know, moments in time that I like to remember. This is the moon rise over the lake. My favorite. My business plan. Goal planning. Love it, love it, love it. CEO, more pictures. And so this is uh, my KPIs and then we get into meetings. And then we get into social media. schedule which is my biggest section and the one I use the most 
um, here are all of my planning tasks. So daily, um, daily planning, daily admin tasks, weekly planning, monthly planning. And then in here, I carry with me all 12 months of the year. These tabs are from Sterling Inc., just extra tabs that I had from my subscription kits last year, and I thought they're tiny and they don't take up much room. So love that. So within my schedule section, I have um, a bottom tab that takes me to the current month. So it's easy to find. And then I have one that takes me to the current week. Okay. So these are all my dailies, day, day on one page. And then this is my today marker. So this travels, oh, I haven't put slits in this yet. Um, I will cut slits in this, but this will travel day to day. So I always know where I'm, I'm at. Okay, and then we've got my notes section where I have my routines to buy, inbox, TV shows and movies challenges, habits. So this is sort of notes slash reference, which I got the idea from Jane's Agenda. I watched one of her videos lately. I, I recommend you guys check check it out, but she um, shares a lot of tips and she was sharing like having a reference section and I'm like, I freaking love that. So I made these inserts here, books to read, phone calls, quotes that resonate, TVs and movies to watch wish list, home and cottage related things. Um, yeah, and then these, these just no paper. But anyways, um, yeah, so that's all this is. It's just I have a bunch of note paper in here. It's notes, random notes, and reference. And then stats, not much here. It literally is just real estate stats. I just took out all of, I have to archive these. February's, February and March. So basically, I just put like how many active listings we have in our MLS and then in the last seven days, how many new listings, how many properties sold and how many sold with conditions or contingencies and then any price fluctuations and then I mark where we are compared to the week before and then how what percentage sold over asking under asking and at asking and this is my blurb of what I talk about in my video so I do my market minutes every week if you watch my weekly plan with me's you know Mondays are when I do my market minutes that's what it is in case you're wondering what the heck's a market minute it's just like a minute and a half to two minute video that I've been doing for years and I'm just keeping people updated on the market. So I only need the current month in here. So because I'm, I don't want to waste this page, I do have March 25th. So this will be April 1st. Um, and then I probably, one, two, three. Okay, good. I have enough for the whole month of April. And then just a note page for any notes that I want to take. Um, regarding real estate stats. And that way when I'm doing my calls, I'm on the phone, I'm in meetings. Number one question we get is how's the market? Then I can just pull up the most recent analysis that I did and then educate people on um, where we're at. Okay, and then my project section. All here, ready to go. Okay, and then just a couple of sheets of paper and then my sticker slash folder for whatever. I've been keeping track of my Sterling Ink kits because they haven't been coming. So that way when I email Catherine from Sterling Ink, I can say order number, blah, blah, blah. I still have to add my May kit because that one I just got charged for May. So I have to add that. And that way I can keep track. Okay. And then my page uh, lifter. And that's a picture of me and my besties and me and my hubby. I just realized that's the same picture that I have. <laughs> I didn't even realize that. So I may, I may change that. I do love my moon rises. Yeah, it's the same picture. That's funny. Um, yeah. And then my cheap protectors there. I don't think I'm going to put anything in here. It'll just add bulk. I'm going to leave that blank. Uh, leave that blank. That made no sense. Leave that empty. All right, so that's uh, my setup for the month of April. I'm, I'm liking this. I think 
I was wondering, like, once I had everything in here, am I going to still love it and still want to stay in this binder? But I think I'm going to. I'm loving how everything is popping um, against the, the blue. It's just such a pretty binder, and I only use it once or twice a year, so I had to. I sold my, I have the classic size as well, but I sold it because I'm like, I seriously never use it. But this one, I'm keeping this one. And I know that I will, I will use it. This feels more full than when it did in the Anna binder, probably because I use this one more often. So it's more stretched, I bet. So when it's full, I have no problem. So that, yeah, I probably just need to break this in more. Anyways, I'm done rambling now. <laughs> so what do you guys think? Do you like the blue? Most people, when I did my poll on Instagram, um, I think, uh, I don't remember the exact percentage, but it was I th around 70 to 75% said yes, move into the blue for April. So um, tell me what you guys think. I think this is going to be fun. And I just love how everything... Um, is popping. All right, that is it for this video. Thank you for watching uh, another switch binders with me and stay tuned. Let me know below how long you think I'll stay in this. Do you think I can last the whole month? I don't know. I don't know if I will. I, right now I'm saying that I will, but don't hold me to it. <laughs> um, have a great rest of your day. I hope that you are all set up for April and let me know in the comments below do you switch up every month or do you just stay in the same system i would love to know all right we'll see you in the next video bye